Now let me say this. Sometimes as Christians, life hits us with a, a sucker punch, a punch to the gut. Something happens. Now if a grandma dies and she was 90, you know what I'm saying? We kind of expect that. But when something very precious is taken from us at a very young age, in their teens or 20s or 30s, whatever it might be, there's a blow. It's like a boxer getting hit so hard that he staggers back. The one that's not a believer stays, doesn't want to continue. He doesn't think it's worth the fight. But the one who's a believer, though, he also stammers back and staggers back and he took a hit. He might need that bell to ring to sit down in a corner to recuperate. Sometimes you might get hit with a, a left hook and you're staggering back and you drop out of the body of Christ. Maybe you're here, but you're not here in, in spirit and you're discouraged and you're not serving. Listen, that happens. Even godly people go through times of mourning and grief. But my friend, if you're a real believer, after you took that punch, you don't throw in the towel and walk away. You might need a time to regroup, but a real Christian jumps back in and says, I'm not, I am not through with this yet. And that's the difference between the true believer and the lost person. The lost person says, after all I've done for God, this is, this is how he treats me. And may I say to you, my friend, Jesus was sinless, and look how Jesus was treated.